Hey everybody, welcome to my video about basic beginner country guitar, a plan. Now this video is going to give you a checklist of what you truly need to know to become a country guitar player, to learn a lot of great country songs, okay? Now this is not exactly a how-to video, I've got a lot of those uh, already posted, and you can check those out, and a lot more to come. But this video is a chance for you to get some structure. I've talked to a lot of you and had Skype lessons with a number of you as well. And what I've learned is you guys are all very motivated. You spend a lot of time working on your guitar playing skills. But many of you don't have a sense of structure because there's so much information out there. Okay, that's what we're going to do today. Okay, we're going to give you some structure to help your country guitar playing really solidify. Okay, and get your skills together. So grab a pencil and a piece of paper. Okay, I'm going to give you a checklist of about seven things that you truly need to be working on. And hopefully some of them you're working on already. All right, uh, quick sales pitch. If you enjoyed this video and my other videos, consider making a donation through PayPal. You go to my channel page, there's a little button there that you can click on to make a donation. And if you enjoy these lessons, I'd love to uh, do a Skype lesson with you too. Okay, so contact me about uh, doing a Skype lesson. I teach it all week long, wouldn't mind having another student. Okay, so let's get down to business. So country guitar playing. Here's what you absolutely need to know. Your open position chords. Now you've probably heard of these and hopefully you know a bunch of them already. We're talking about all the majors like A major, C major, D, E, F, G, okay? All those, the whole alphabet letter of major chords. Minors, A minor, B minor, D minor, E minor, okay? Those are some crucial ones. Seventh chords, alphabet list of seventh chords, A7, B7, C7, D7, E7, maybe not F7 so much, but definitely G7, okay? So I just rattled off about, uh, about what, 16 names of chords there. Hopefully you know a lot of them already. You gotta learn them, gotta memorize them, and get good at changing between those, okay? Uh, and I've got a video about changing chords. Check out my other videos. There's one that I think is called Changing Chords Faster, okay? Because a lot of people, a lot of my students struggle with that. All right, item number two on our country list. <clears throat> now that you know those chords, you want to find ways to have fun with them. Okay, so item number two on your checklist is uh, um, bass note runs, hammer-ons, and pull-offs. I'm going to play for you for a minute here so you can see what, what I'm talking about. Instead of just strumming C, uh, G, and C. I'm going to add in a little hammer-on. Or a little run. adds a lot of flavor, right? Okay, bass note runs, hammer-ons, you know, adds a lot to a song. Hammer-ons, pull-offs, and bass note runs. Check those off on your checklist, or put them on your checklist. Uh, strum patterns. Speaking of strumming the guitar, country songs are full of guitar strumming, as you know. There's a handful of strum patterns that you're going to want to be familiar with. I'll give you one of the most common strum patterns. Check this out. You've heard this a million times, right? Okay, the pattern I'm doing, by the way, goes down, down, up, up, down, up. You're going to do it on a G chord here. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay? Now you might have noticed, I'm actually doing a sequence of downs and ups here, I'm just not hitting the guitar every time. So my elbow is going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. But my pick isn't actually reaching in and hitting the strings every time. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And there's tons of patterns, but that's an extremely popular uh, pattern for country guitar playing. Uh, here's another one, the Boom Chicka pattern. I've got a video about the Boom Chicka pattern that you can check out. Boom Chicka. The name is going to be pretty obvious here. Check out what happens when we mix the Boom Chicka pattern with those bass note runs and hammer-ons. you can do in there, then you can pick up the speed and go 
faster and faster, right, with time. First time I saw a guy do that, it blew my mind. I saw a guy doing some nice, flat-picking bluegrass guitar, blew my mind. And, you know, very, very inspiring, too. Part of me thought, I could never do that. It took a little while, it took, it took some practicing, that's for sure. Okay, okay, moving on. Uh, so, so far we have the open position chords, strum patterns, including the boom chicka pattern. Uh, number three would be bass note runs and hammer-ons and pull-offs. And again, this is not a how-to video. I think you understand that now, right? It's more a checklist. And you can check out my other videos for how to do this stuff. Uh, the major pentatonic scale. The major pentatonic scale is the classic scale for playing country guitar solos. Okay? And the major pentatonic scale... can be played in all 12 keys, all up and down the neck of the guitar. I just played a really easy one right there. The G major pentatonic. Okay, happy to teach you that scale. I believe I have a video on pentatonic scales, but you want to learn the major pentatonic scale if you want to learn some great country riffs and also make up your own solos. I usually teach my students to play a, an easy version of the major pentatonic down here with open strings, and then we move it up the neck and learn a bunch of different uh, ways to play the major pentatonic scale. Okay, uh, playing with a capo, hugely important. A lot of you have one already, a lot of you know what they are. I have a good old fashioned Shub capo here. Uh, they don't make this exact model anymore, but they make one that's probably better than this one. If you need a capo, let me know, okay? I have a little music store when I'm not teaching videos like this, and I sell stuff to people all the time, and. Uh, there's a handful of good capos out there, you can get them. Plan on spending about 20 bucks, okay? You can find capos for four or five bucks, but you want to get a good one. This happens to be the Shub capo. Bottom line is, you've got to have one for country guitar playing, without a doubt, for a variety of reasons, including, hey, maybe you learn a great song by a singer whose voice is lower than yours, okay? And you can't sing as low, so you learn how to play a Johnny Cash song, and you're down here, and you can't hit those notes like Johnny Cash. Well, you put the capo on, you do not have to relearn the whole song. You simply put the capo on right behind the fret, as close as possible without being right on top of it, and then you treat the next fret as if that were truly the first fret. Okay, all this back here is dead. Nothing going on back there, it all happens in front of the capo. And by in front, I mean in this direction, you know? Anyways, if you don't have one already, get yourself a capo. Let me know, I'll send you one, okay? And I'll learn how to use it. Super important. A uh, couple more little details on our checklist. Finger picking. Now, you can play a lot of great country songs with some pretty simple finger picking patterns with your picking hand. Now, I wish I could tell you that this was impossible and that I'm a genius for learning how to do this. Not true, okay? If I can do it, you can certainly do it. In fact, you can learn a lot faster than I did because I've got a video about it, okay? I was very intimidated by finger picking for many years, and uh, when I finally learned how to do it, at least learned how to do the basics of finger picking, it uh, I made me wish I'd started a lot earlier because finger picking is an absolutely beautiful approach to playing the guitar, okay? So you want to learn at least the basics of finger picking if you're going to be pursuing country guitar. Uh, last thing, we'll come to the last thing on our list. Reading guitar tablature, also known as TAB, T-A-B. Okay, you gotta learn how to read guitar tablature. Excellent books like this one here, and many more books rely on communicating information to you using guitar TAB, okay? I, I grab this book here because I think it's great. I don't work for the company, I don't even know uh, Greg Koch, although, hey Greg, thanks for writing such great books. So, Country Guitar by Greg Koch. I use this with a lot of my students. And uh, it has some tricky stuff in there. It's not purely for beginners, but it has some stuff that beginners can benefit from. It comes with a CD, and uh, again, contact me. I'd be happy to sell you a copy. But Country Guitar by Greg Koch, uh, published by Hal Leonard. Great book. Okay, so I want to run through our checklist one last time before we say goodbye. Open position chords, right? A, B, uh, B minor, I mean, um, C7, so on. Uh, number two, strum patterns, all the different possible strum patterns out there. You don't have to learn all of them, but learn a handful of the most important ones, you know. Uh, uh, bass note runs, hammer-ons, and pull-offs, okay? Also important. Number four, the major pentatonic scale. Number five, playing with a capo. Number six, finger-picking. Number seven, guitar tab, okay? 
all important things. Now, hopefully this gives you a little sense of structure, okay? Check out my other videos, and if you happen to watch videos by all the great other guitar teachers out there on YouTube, um, hopefully you'll be able to sift through a lot of the stuff that I don't think is life or death, um, and get right to the stuff that truly will help you build a great foundation so you can be a great country guitar player. And when I say country, of course we're talking about bluegrass music, folk music, you know, related musics. All right. Hey, don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, you can go to my uh, channel page and, and make a uh, PayPal donation. Totally appreciate it. I love doing these videos. I'm going to do a million more, but every little bit helps. Uh, just as good as making a donation would be to come and take a Skype lesson with me, okay? And, uh, and you can uh, find out how to contact me down below, all right? And let me know that uh, you want to take a Skype lesson. That'd be fantastic. <clears throat> if you need a book, if you need a capo, let me know, okay? Be happy to make that happen for you. All right, everybody, my name is Jonathan. Hey, I appreciate you watching these videos. I love hearing from you. Keep subscribing. Tell your friends about, uh, about these videos. And uh, keep practicing every day, every day. Okay? Do it. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.